Jesse Dolezal. I said it. Jesse Wu. No, wait. <laughs> what no Jesse Wu is an actual black woman um Jesse Jackson nope that's a black man Jesse Reyes nope that's a Hispanic woman damn all these people of color named Jesse and yet none of them are you Jesse Nelson oh, real hot girl shit testimony video these are a series of videos on my channel where I talk about tea and pop culture and what we can learn from the situation so <laughs> I'm back with the get back if you want to know why I've been gone I posted a vlog yesterday I will link it down in the description box below if you want to see my other tea and testimony videos I do also have a playlist of that and I will put that in the eye above and that'll also be linked down below my battery is about to die so let's just go ahead and get into the get on this is gonna be a short video jesse nelson and the curious case of bronzer okay of over tanning of black fishing cat fishing but you're trying to be black um basically if you don't know what black fishing is it's when white women will go out of their way even though they're white to try to look ambiguous or like they have you know almost like they're trying to look mixed like they're trying to give mulatto <laughs> back when her name was still mulatto they're trying to give mulatto or you know mixed or biracial vibes she's biracial she's a biracial even though they're white women so, but they try to portray and give the body type give the skin tone and give the usually it's big curly hair that they're not white but actually spicy you know like they might be afro latina or black and white or they just try to give off a vibe that they're somehow uh ambiguous or biracial she's a biracial but jesse's not a biracial She's a biracial girl. She's biracial. Doo -doo. She's just a white woman. Doo -doo. <laughs> so, long story short, what happened with Jesse is um she came out with her music video with Nicki Minaj called The Boys. Personally, the song doesn't appeal to me, but I also might not have been in her demographic anyway. Well, actually, considering she was tanning to look black had the hair to look black and was using a black sample from diddy baby i was her demographic i don't know <laughs> the point is it just didn't appeal to me in the way that maybe i would have wanted it to um Nicki minaj looked great you know she definitely was holding on to the song carrying it um but the song is not bad it's just maybe it wasn't for me which is fine all music is not for everybody that's why we have so many different genres my issue and we're gonna start with jesse first then we're gonna move on to miss nicholas minaj because i really want to stay like i want to like nikki so bad <laughs> so bad like i really want to i want to give it to her because nikki whether y'all love her or y'all hate her she is mother she has held the game down for a very long time and she has been successful for a very long time and she has done so much for rap especially for women in terms of occupying the space i'm not like i want i want to give it to her but she said such backwards and like old school like she's using like the tired old argument let's just start with nikki since clearly i'm going there like she's using the tired old argument of like well jesse can tan and get lip filler because i'm black and i wear blonde wigs and colored contacts <laughs> first of all I, as a black woman, have a black cousin who has light eyes. Actually, several. My mother has light eyes, actually. Fun fact, my mom's eyes are hazel, and both of her parents are black. 
crazy I know um my cousin has a black mom and a white dad and she has big curly hair but it's blonde hmm so I don't really know what that argument of like well we wear blonde hair my cousin was born with blonde hair what are you saying my mom was born with light eyes what are you saying so this argument Rihanna who we all know a black woman with a black daddy and a black mama from Barbados has light eyes what do you say to that what do you say to that who what do you say to that like I just don't I'm confused I'm confused throw me a bone because bitch I'm not catching anything I'm not I'm tell explain it to me uh explain it to me I'm windmilling explain it to me because at this point we need to fight because <laughs> it's such a tired old argument that people love to make of like well white people can do this because we wear wigs and we wear contacts and it's like come up with something else and on top of that, if we really want to take it there, anytime we wear wigs, we're wearing Asian hair, not white hair. Like when we buy bundles, it's Peruvian bundles. It's Malaysian bundles. It's not Russian bundles. And even then, when it says Russian bundles, that's really just because they bleach the hair super, super light to give you 613 hair but it's still Asian hair. They just put Russian because they dyed it blonde. So again, <laughs> that's, your argument didn't even make sense. It wasn't giving what you thought it gave. Like you really thought it gave that and it didn't. Not at all. Um, I wanna bring it to Miss Jessie because I didn't want this video to be long. I wanna bring it to Miss Jessie here. I'm not gonna address like the little mixed drama because I didn't really know much about the group. So I feel like I don't have the range to really talk about that. But it does say something though, while we're here, that for the longest time, I thought it was two black girls in Little Mix. And I thought <laughs> Jessie Nelson was the other black girl. Sometimes she was even darker than the actual black girl in Little Mix, which says a lot because listen, it's one thing to say, oh, I tan. Oh, I just do a little bronzer. It's another thing to look like a completely different race. And why it's considered offensive is because you're looking like this race to market to black people, to look exotic, to market to a specific demographic. But when you go home at night and you get in your bed and you wipe off your makeup, all of that that you have on, that skin tone, you wipe it off. You get to go around and exist in the world as a white woman still. We do not have the privilege to look one way and then exist in the world with all the privilege and benefits of being white like you do. That is why this is a problem and that is why people are upset about it. It's not because we don't want you to tan or we don't want you to like R&B or we don't want you to enjoy rap music. <laughs> it's not that. Um, it's because, again, you are still a white woman and you still have all the privileges and benefits of being a white woman. We do not get to take off our makeup at the end of the day and be someone else. You get to do that, Rachel Nelson, Jesse Dolezal. I said it. Don't fight me, fight your mom. <laughs> but no, like we, it's the truth though. We do not have that privilege. But you do, which is why we get upset with you. And on top of that, again, you're marketing to black people. That's the whole, like, it would be different. It's still wrong, but it would be different if you did this and tried to market to white people. When white <laughs> women do this specifically, they're always marketing to a urban audience. Hence why you had a black female rapper on the song with you. You didn't do this song with Coldplay. You didn't do this song with Jack Harlow. <laughs> if you want to talk about white rappers, you didn't do this song with Eminem. You did this with a black woman for a reason. And then you wanted her co-sign for a reason because you're marketing to who? The black community. And I just, mm -mm. again, the song also doesn't catch me so I can't even really argue like okay it's terrible what she did but the song is a bop like the song didn't give give what it was supposed to give either and then her you know blackfishing also didn't really help 
um and then for her to like just let nikki do that on live and not even try to be like okay it was wrong and i apologize but da -da -da. just for her to let nikki just go off on live and be like oh well thank you for defending me like again i don't know jesse nelson jesse dolezal i don't know her I, this is my first time really seeing her. I've seen her in Little Mix, but again, I thought she was a little mixed. <laughs> I thought she was a biracial. You know, I thought she was biracial this whole time because I thought it was two black girls in Little Mix. I'm one of the people that was shocked to find out that she's a white woman because again, she wears, she wears blackness like it's cosplay. Like you just put it on when you want and then you take it off and that's not, you don't get to do that with someone's culture. So, or someone's race. So anyway, that is my opinion on, you know, Jesse Dolezal and the curious case of Bronzer. <laughs> um, let me know what y'all thought. Did y'all like the song? I mean, maybe it's, I just wasn't able to get into the song. Like, maybe I should have given the song another chance, but like, is the, how is the song bad? And y'all have all this going on. But like, let me know what y'all thought in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!